make a new prefix table a b a b and d 0 0 1 2 0 q is 0 1 2 3 4 and 5 and now my q will come here right that is pi of q so q will go to pi of 2 that is here now you check this is c matching with a no it's not matching right therefore where it will go it will go q will go to pi of q now here pi of q is 0 so let me draw a new prefix table right that is a b a b and d 0 0 1 2 0 so q equals to 0 so now my q will come here right now again you will check is C matching with A that is T of 5 of P of Q plus 1 so it's not matching then what you will do Q to pi of Q but if you see here if not same bring Q to pi of Q we have done and if Q is already 0 now Q was already 0 in that case just increment I so now what we have done we have compared C with A and we found it is not equal to 0 then I have to change q to pi of q that is 0 only q was 0 only right and if q is 0 already then in that case just increment i correct now in the next iteration what you will check you will check whether this a this a matching with this a yes it's matching because q is here so increment q and increment i then again you will check whether this b is matching with this b yes then increment q increment i is this c matching with this a no it's not matching therefore what you will do you will convert q to pi of q that is 0 so again it will come to 0 let me draw a table a b a b and d 0 0 1 2 0 q equals to 0 so it is it came here right now you you check is c matching with a no it's not matching but and pi of q is 0 and q is 0 already therefore just increment i so we have incremented i now is this a matching with this a yes it's matching increment q increment i is this b matching with this b yes it's matching therefore increment q increment i is this a matching with this a yes it's matching therefore increment q increment i is this b matching with this b yes it's matching therefore increment q and increment i is this a matching with this a no it's not matching it's not matching therefore what you will do bring q to i just write here bring q to pi of q that is to 2 so my table will become something like this a b a b d 0 0 1 2 0 q was 0 1 2 3 4 and 5 now my q will come here right at 2 now you need to check whether this a is matching with this a let me change the color i think this is okay right so this a is matching with this a right yes it's matching increment q increment i is this b matching with this b yes so increment q increment i is this d matching with this d yes increment q increment i so there is nothing for i and we have traversed all the elements traversed all the elements so if q reaches to m so here q is reached to m right q 
two has reached to n that is end of the prefix staple therefore that means pattern is formed so here pattern is formed right so this is the simplest way in which we can explain that is first you need to make a prefix table let me summarize it so first we have to make a prefix table then what you have to do you have to initialize text and you have to initialize a pattern with q equals to 0 and if your t of i matches with the next element that is q plus 1 element if your q the next element is this then increment i and q both if it doesn't matches in that case what you have to do you have to initialize q to phi of q and then again have to check it if by doing q of phi of q you find q is equals to 0 already then in that case simply increment the i right is as simple as that now in the next videos you can find uh, how to draw prefix table for various other examples and there will be more examples on KMP algorithm. Thank you.